Solar System, Moons of Uranus. Uranus has 27 known moons and are named for characters in William Shakespeare's plays while other moon names were chosen from Alexander Pope's poetry. Uranus moons are divided into three groups, 13 inner moons, 5 major moons, and 9 irregular moons. The inner and major moons all have prograde orbits, while orbits of the irregulars are mostly retrograde. All of Uranus' larger moons are thought to consist mostly of roughly equal amounts of water ice and silicate rock. The inner moons are small dark bodies that share common properties and origins with Uranus rings. The irregular moons have elliptical and strongly inclined, mostly retrograde, orbits at large distances from the planet. Five major moons of Uranus, size to scale, mean radius in kilometers. Miranda the innermost and smallest of the five major satellites, has a surface unlike any other moon that's been seen. It has giant fault canyons as much as 12 times as deep as the Grand Canyon, terraced layers and surfaces that appear very old, and others that look much younger. The only close-up images of Miranda are from the Voyager 2 probe, which made observations of Miranda during its Uranus flyby in January 1986. During the flyby, Miranda's southern hemisphere pointed towards the sun, so only that part was studied. Miranda has one of the most extreme and varied topographies of any object in the solar system, a 20-kilometer high scarp that is the highest cliff in the solar system, and chevron-shaped tectonic features called coroni. The origin and evolution of this varied geology, the most of any Uranian satellite, are still not fully understood, and multiple hypotheses exist regarding Miranda's evolution. Named by Kuiper for the heroine of Shakespeare's The Tempest. Miranda is the daughter of Prospero. Ariel has the brightest and possibly the youngest surface among all the moons of Uranus. It has few large craters and many small ones, indicating that fairly recent low-impact collisions wiped out the large craters that would have been left by much earlier, bigger strikes. Intersecting valleys pitted with craters scar its surface. Much of the detailed knowledge of Ariel derives from a single flyby of Uranus performed by the space probe Voyager 2 in 1986, which managed to image around 35% of the Moon's surface. Most of the visible surface consists of relatively intensely cratered terrain transected by fault scarps and fault-bounded valleys, Graben. Some of the largest valleys, which can be seen near the terminator, at right, are partly filled with younger deposits that are less heavily cratered. Bright spots near the limb and toward the left are chiefly the rims of small craters. Ariel was named by John Herschel for a sylph in Pope's Rape of the Lock. Umbriel is ancient, and the darkest of the five large moons. It has many old, large craters and sports a mysterious bright ring on one side. It has been studied up close only once, by the spacecraft Voyager 2 in January 1986. It took several images of Umbriel, which allowed mapping of about 40% of the moon's surface. Umbriel appears to have experienced the lowest level of geological activity. It is heavily cratered but lacks the numerous bright ray craters seen on the other large Uranian satellites, this results in a relatively uniform surface albedo, reflectivity. The prominent crater on the terminator, upper right, is about 110 kilometers 70 miles across and has a bright central peak. The strangest feature in this image, at top, is a curious bright ring, 
the most reflective area seen on Umbriel. The ring is about 140 kilometers, 90 miles, in diameter and lies near the satellite's equator. The nature of the ring is not known. Umbriel was named by John Herschel for a malevolent spirit in Pope's Rape of the Lock. Titania is the largest of the moons of Uranus and the eighth largest moon in the solar system. The Uranian system has been studied up close only once, by the spacecraft Voyager 2 in January 1986. It took several images of Titania, which allowed mapping of about 40% of its surface. Voyager 2's highest resolution image of Titania shows moderately cratered plains, enormous rifts and long scarps. Near the bottom, a region of smoother plains including the crater Ursula is split by the Graben Belmont Chasma. Its surface, which is relatively dark and slightly red in color, appears to have been shaped by both impacts and endogenic processes. It is covered with numerous impact craters reaching up to 326 km 203 miles, in diameter, but is less heavily cratered than Oberon. Named by Herschel's son John in early 19th century for the Queen of the Fairies in Shakespeare's A Midsummer Night's Dream. Oberon is the outermost major moon of the planet Uranus. It is the second largest and second most massive of the Uranian moons, and the ninth most massive moon in the solar system. The Uranian system has been studied up close only once, the spacecraft Voyager 2 took several images of Oberon in January 1986, allowing 40% of the moon's surface to be mapped. The surface of Oberon, which is dark and slightly red in color, appears to have been primarily shaped by asteroid and comet impacts. It is covered by numerous impact craters reaching 210 kilometers in diameter. Clearly visible are several large impact craters in Oberon's icy surface surrounded by bright rays similar to those seen on Jupiter's moon Callisto. Quite prominent near the center of Oberon's disk is a large crater with a bright central peak and a floor partially covered with very dark material. Another striking topographic feature is a large mountain, about 6 kilometers, 4 miles, high, peaking out on the lower left limb. Named by Herschel's son John in early 19th century for the King of the Fairies in Shakespeare's A Midsummer Night's Dream. 